Tonsei! Tonsei, people. My name is Sin K. You can call me Sin for short. And welcome to some more Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. All we did last episode is we finished up what was going on in Australia. Uh, we helped the guru with his homeland and everything. We helped save Carmelita from her own demise from an evil mask that was foiling our plants. Oh my god, my English is not doing so well today for some reason. And I think that's about it. I've cleared up most of it. Hopefully you guys can correct me later on in the comments. And without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, we don't have enough money for anything, so let me just, yeah, let's start as Sly. Ah, yes. Flight school. If we're gonna succeed in this year's Aces competition, we all need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plate, and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout him out somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Oh, okay, let's go find Dimitri. My favorite, favorite villain. <laughs> Actually, no, he's not my favorite villain. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's over here. By the bar. Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights. I have many profiles. Dig, don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. That true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little. Oh my god. Mm. We both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So, spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched. This guy's paranoid. Looks like I need to calm him down a little. Compliment, make him feel good. Swear to keep it all a secret. Promise to protect him. Uh... If you talk, me and the gang will protect you. We're all in this together. You can count on us. You know our reputation. The Black Baron is a big wheel. He'll roll all over us. Too many men he commands. We can't stop them. Too many to count. Okay, let's try. You talk and the secret stays between us. I am a thief after all. Keeping things quiet is what I do best. Trust a band of thieves? Do I look chumpy to you? Your promises will be cold comfort when I'm pushing up the daisies with concrete overshoes. Wow, he's really hard to like... Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? Y you're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk a flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time! <laughs> big time! This guy's a real nut job. Not sure I want to owe him. 
I could agree to the trader, offer him a bribe. Let's try the bribe. Would a few coins maybe change your mind? I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Bribe money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need gang of thieves, not federal reserve. Oh my god. Okay, Dimitri. Hook me up with the flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. Huh? Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. Big Cheese? Is he a rat? Oh, he's I a mole. You all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers <gasps> Mugshot! Now, we all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hygiene. <laughs> Like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes! Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes! <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine! <laughs> oh my yes, god. Yes, that was all so very funny, but no more! You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions. This will be a fair competition. Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, Soar like eagles, eh? <laughs> they don't lock the front door to the hotel. This isn't a jail. But you heard the Baron. Once outside, things will get dangerous. Oh. Where do I go from here? Do I go over here? It's the exit. So wait, is is a is a mole a rat or like in the rat family at all? I'm just curious. Okay, you guys can correct me. All right, I'm just, you know what I mean. I'm just being dumb. <laughs> Careful, partner. The Baron's got plenty of guards on duty, and it's a long way up to his castle on the hill. Oh. Why is it always raining? Or very, very sad. <gasps> no, 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 no. Ah. Ah, come on. That's a big wolf. Holy shit. Huge, huge freaking wolf. So we have to get up there, eh? Okay, come on. Get rid of him. Anything up here? No, all right. I won't be able to get inside the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up. There should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, pal, but you're the best climber we got. <laughs> oh, that feels so good to hear from you. Parkour! The competition starts tomorrow. Where are all my guards? Asleep? Watching TV? I bother paying them at all if they're going to lounge about like common tourists. Like common tourists? <laughs> Oh boy. Dude, I was so nervous there. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it. All right.
right. Okay, holy Jesus, don't do that game. The Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip-top condition. The best lot without question, truly. I'm not saying this, truly. This is going to be our finest victory ever. Yes, yes, tomorrow we'll witness some legendary dogfighting. Some legendary dogfighting. <laughs> yes, yes. Legendary dogfighting indeed. Sly! <laughs> hey, Sly! Where is he? Sly, are you out there? Nope, sorry. Just us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got an idea. Probably gonna rope him up. It's gonna fall. No way. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. Oh, neat. Oh. I was wondering where we were to go. If Dimitri's intel is accurate, the flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Okay. Start. We've got Ooh. a big, big, big day tomorrow with the first round of the Aces competition, just 12 hours away. We've all done a superlative job preparing for the event, and this year promises to be the best dogfighting action we've ever seen. However, I cannot stress enough that I must win. We've all been hired to help me achieve victory. If in fact the unthinkable happens and Team Black Baron loses, I'm going to dismiss the lot of you. And start clean with the new staff. Am I making myself clear? Leave oh. No outsider is to enter the castle. No one is to go near our place. If I we can. lose, if I lose, That's I am right going to take it out on all of you. Anyhow, have a pleasant evening and let's have fun out there tomorrow. What? what? That safe was a bust. Try the other. Where's the other goddamn safe? Oh! I didn't even see this painting here. It just blends in so well. Ah, great. Oh, I see it. Two, two, three. Yeah! Ace's team lost. That was easy. Okay, fellas. According to the Ace's flight lineup, we'll be flying against Team Iceland and Team Belgium in tomorrow's semi-final round. As you're all aware, we've only got a single plane while our opponents will be flying 15 apiece. You got that, guys? That's 30 to 1 odds against us. In order to give us a fighting chance, we'll need to pit these two teams against each other. First, Murray and Sly will paddle through the sewers beneath town to get access to an air vent leading into Team Iceland's hotel room. Steal one of their trademark Viking helmets, then head over to Team Belgium's hangar. Vandalize one of their aircraft, then flab the helmet in order to frame Team Iceland for the damage. Next, Murray and I will steal one of Team Belgium's monogram handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the guru will break into the Team Iceland supply truck, carrying their lucky ice sculpture. 
Sly will steal the art and then place the handkerchief insinuating Team Belgium for the crime. Get it? We frame both teams so they'll be gunning for each other and not Sly in the semifinals. All the while, I'll be setting up defenses around the Team Cooper air hangar. You never know when one of the other teams might come looking to do us some harm. All right, let's go do some good old fashioned framing. All end operation, day one. Okay, we will do slides as usual, as usual. You know, I don't wanna, don't wanna change it up too much. You know what I mean? Nah, I mean. Okay. All right. All right, let's begin. See that Arbert supply truck? It's en route to drop off Team Iceland's lucky ice sculpture for the semifinals tomorrow. I've given the drivers some bad directions, so they should be going around in circles for hours. We need you to get inside that truck, steal the sculpture, and plant some evidence implicating Team Belgium. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. That's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. No pressure, but you've got to find a Team Belgian pilot and get him laughing so hard that Bentley can make the pull. This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. If they notice being robbed, we'll be kicked out of the Aces competition. Okay, so make them laugh. All right, let's we'll make them laugh so hard they forget who they are. Hello, oh. Belgium Flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? Oh my god. I need to get this sour puss laughing. I should just try... Political humor. Why did the chicken cross the road to France? Because it wasn't turkey! And you see, the chicken's not a turkey, or a Turk. It's a chicken! A French hen! Oh my god. Let's try... An impression. That Baron, he's always, I love flying. Don't go outside. Listen to me. I'm so smart. I'm the boss. My mustache is so macho. <laughs> That's pretty lame, huh? Oh my god. Uh, intellectual. I can't make heads or tails of this coin. <laughs> Get it? Oh it's my totally god. It's totally funny because, like, when you flip a coin, it comes out either heads or tails. Come on, that's comic gold. <laughs> Historical humor? What was Genghis Khan's favorite meal? The brains of his enemy. Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I. I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty weird. Oh my god. Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? Ta da! Hey, fish! Duck! I yell! Hey! <laughs> oh, his laugh, though. Okay, Bentley, it's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> Is no one seeing this? <laughs> Yay, we did it. Oh, thank God. You got the Belgian hanky. Nice work. 
Meet me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. Bentley's en route to me with the monogrammed handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. All right. Let's run them into that truck. Oh, the truck's over here. Where the hell am I going? Oh my god, he's... it's so fast. Bro, this truck... Come on. Good start, but the truck just powered up its automated defenses. You'll have to pay attention on your next approach. Could get sticky. Okay. It's three more times? All right. It's way over here now? Are you kidding me? I got it. Oh, I got it. Okay, thank God. Not by it. Not by it. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to cut it off. What? Oh, it made a detour. Fuck. So it's path changed. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, no, no biggie, no biggie, no biggie. Nice. Yes. Oh, he fucking found me. That's one way to escape. Yes, come on! Yeah! Guru, the back doors are still holding tight, but the top of the vehicle's been blown wide open. Okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up. But jumping inside through the roof should be easy. Jump into the truck through open roof. Damn it. Are you serious? My button didn't activate. No. Get the hell back here. Come back so I can enter you. You stupid truck. Bro. Where is it going? This is so much harder than it's supposed to be. Like, come on. Bro! Don't tell me it's gonna go all the way around. It's gotta come back. Yes! Crack the safe and make the swap. No pressure, but I think the driver has figured out where to go. You don't have much time. No! I fucked it up, no! Yes! Oh my god. Great work. 
Hey, hey, hey we did sure it. I'm sure blame the Belgians. They'll be all over each other in tomorrow's dogfight.